Hello and welcome back to Actual Edge. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. Dr. Monica Gandhi recently shed light on a game-changing innovation in HIV treatment during the medical grand rounds at the University of California, San Francisco. The focus was on long-acting injectable treatments which could offer hope for HIV patients facing challenges with daily pills, especially those affected by homelessness, mental health issues or drug addiction. Dr. Gandhi highlighted that while these long-acting antiretroviral treatments have been approved for individuals with low levels of HIV already on daily oral pills, the eligibility criteria should extend beyond this limited scope. She emphasized the urgent need to make these treatments accessible to populations like the homeless who could greatly benefit from less frequent, longer-lasting therapies. Dr. Gandhi's team conducted a demonstration project involving 261 patients with unstable housing, mental health issues and substance abuse disorders. Initial results from 133 participants displayed promising outcomes, showcasing the efficacy of long-acting antiretroviral therapies, even among those not adhering to daily pills or starting with higher levels of the virus. Among those who began the study without viral suppression, the treatment exhibited a 90% viral suppression rate. Moreover, the updated results across all 261 participants demonstrated an 85% viral suppression rate among those with higher initial HIV levels. Dr. Gandhi emphasized the positive feedback from patients who had never previously achieved viral suppression through oral treatments, underscoring the psychological boost derived from successful of suppression. She is a strong advocate for the inclusion of long-acting treatments in the National Institutes of Health HIV guidelines to benefit a broader patient demographic. Despite the recommendations from experts in the field, the federal guidelines have yet to incorporate these long-acting therapies. Dr. Gandhi highlighted the importance of this inclusion to expand accessibility, noting that clinicians can currently prescribe these injections for patients struggling with daily adherence, but a guideline update would significantly broaden their reach.